now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. All eyes turning to the Gulf of Mexico, the Gulf Coast anyway. This is the Houston area. This is some very heavy rain. You can see this rain shaft right in here, the clear skies with this outer spiral band or at least some clouds associated with the general movement of the hurricane. We're going to start to see lots of spiral bands coming on shore overnight tonight and through the morning tomorrow with the eye wall approaching uh, the coastline of Texas, likely around Corpus Christi by this time tomorrow. Here's an outer uh, band of uh, heavy rain falling off the coast. We're down on the shoreline. Now that was Houston. Now you can see a choppy waters coming in. If not sure if this is Corpus Christi or not, if it is, this pair will be uh, in danger here uh, when this storm system comes in could be a category three storm striking the coastline here as we head towards the evening time tomorrow. Here's our category one storm Harvey latest uh, wind speed 85 miles per hour, but it is intensifying. That was the last one we saw. You can see all that rain pushing on in and again just those outer bands you can see hitting the Houston area, but Corpus Christi up into this direction is going to be the issue. Watch closely here. I'm going to show you a recon flight here. Uh, you'll see the planes that come in the uh, uh, Air Force sends in these uh, these recon flights and there's one. This is the latest information coming just a little while ago. It goes across the center of the storm, then it does kind of a Z formation and goes back and forth twice through the center of the storm and a square around it. And generally what you've been seeing is you saw wind speeds uh, 55 miles per hour that saw uh, at flight level as we call it. And then they have the surface pressure that inf pressure that information goes back to the National Hurricane Center so they can monitor the intensity of the storm. They've been running these recon flights here all day long. They'll continue to, continue to do it as it pushes on inland, inland. Here's our storm system. This is what the future cast shows. Here's Corpus Christi. This shows the eye wall coming in south of Corpus Christi tomorrow evening. It'll be interesting to see if this is correct or the National Hurricanes Forecast Center this correct. This computer model will probably start to lean a little bit further to the north here, but that's very heavy rain wrapping around that storm. And then it slows down in South Texas and just rains out over days. That means we will have some massive flooding up to two feet of water. We get less than a foot of water a year in Boise. They could get two feet of water in some places in just a couple of days, two or three days. So wind speeds at least 50 miles an hour in the pink area. This brighter pink right here, hurricane force wind. And this again shows it coming in just south of Corpus Christi. This is the same computer forecast model. We'll take a look at the rainfall accumulation from this model and look at these updated numbers here. 16 inches in Corpus Christi, 22 inches of rain in San Antonio. This is going to be very difficult to handle here when all this rain comes in and I will be keeping you posted on this. Our Toyota Tower Cam Network in the Northwest here showing things a little bit more mellow. Blue skies over Boise as we look at our village camera in Meridian. In Boise right now, the temperature is at 92, so it's hotter. Tomorrow will be very similar to today. I don't expect too many changes coming in. We do have some mountain storms that have been pushing through the Riggins area. There's a few more that are heading towards Riggins. I mentioned yesterday, Riggins, you'd be under the gun. That has been the case. McCall getting some light showers pushing through as well as the storms have been weakening. And even some lightning strikes west of Mountain Home. Now, there could be new fire starts from this. We're going to have to keep a close eye on this. Jordan Valley, you've got lightning nearby as well. And Near the storms further to the north and east of halfway Oregon, a light shower around McCall, another storm system headed right towards uh, the Riggins area. This severe thunderstorm warning had expired already, but the red area, that's a red flag warning in effect until later tonight. Drier air comes in for tomorrow, and that will likely give us a very similar day coming up for tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 90s. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today, almost a carbon copy of today for the Treasure Valley, but at the higher elevations, it may be less of a threat of some of those stronger storms that we've been getting in northeast Oregon. Oregon and the West Central Mountains and up towards the Riggins area. 90 in Garden Valley tomorrow, about 89 in Council. There's still a slight chance for an isolated shower. Temperatures in the 80s in the McCall area while Stanley and Sun Valley around 80 degrees sunshine. Isolated storms popping up. We'll take a look at my uh, extended forecast here and the temperatures start to ramp up. 98 on Sunday, 100 Monday, could be 99 on Tuesday as well. So Sunday, Monday and Tuesday will be the hottest days. Then some cloud cover coming in and the temperatures may drop off a little bit, but could heat back up uh, somewhat towards uh, Labor Day. I just don't see a huge cool down coming in on Labor Day yet, but that's still a little ways off because you can sometimes get that. Sure, triple digits. It isn't over till it's over. No, it's been a hot summer. It has, yeah. Thanks, Scott. Well, for some, a haircut is a 